Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Carl Jr. Senior High School for tonight's Junior Varsity Basketball Contest between the Wailusa Rams and the one Black Knights. The Northern Two League promotes good sportsmanship by all student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Fans are expected to abide by all school policies, including the school dress code. Profanity, racial or sexist comments, or other inappropriate actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, team representatives, or other spectators will not be tolerated or grounds for dismissal from this side of competition. Violations of the NTL Code of Conduct may result in suspension from other NTL contests. We appreciate the cooperation and interest in our athletic programs and our student athletes. The game manager for this event, Ms. Caitlin Dorner. Just a reminder, there's no smoking permitted anywhere on the Tawana School District campus. Thank you for supporting our athletes. Please enjoy the game. Now introducing the starting lineup for the visiting Rams. The Rams are coached by Mr. Matt Cobb. Number 11, Trenton Hugo. Number 12, Thomas Oliver. Number 13, Nicholas Vanderpool. Number 15, Parker Petlock. And number 22, Kenny Mapes. Now introducing the starting lineup here to one of the Black Knights. The Knights are coached by Mr. Joel Maddox. Number one, Vinny Magano. Number 10, Jack Tabani. Number 12, Will Schroeder. Number 15, Jack Wheaton. And number 25, Connor Barnes. Official for tonight's game, Mr. Dave Tuchel and Mr. Jimmy Schools.
Um, quick rundown of so far in the season, the Tawanda Black Knights come into this game at one and four. Congratulations to coach Landon Henry on his first win of um, his career. On Monday, the Black Knights knocked off Northeast Bradford 50 to 38 out at Northeast Bradford. Um, they're one and four in the season right now with four close losses uh, to Montrose, to Milton, uh, to Muncie, and who was the fourth one? It was in the tournament, correct? Muncie, Milton, Montrose, and North Bend Liberty. North Bend That's Liberty, the fourth yeah. one. Yep, and so coming into this one at one and four. And tonight we are going to entertain the Wyalusing Valley Rams. They come into the season at two and two. Uh, they lost a tough one to Blue Ridge in their opener, 55 to 52, before beating STHS out of Harrisburg, 61 to 32. Um, lost a tough one to a very good Troy team, 76-66 and then came back and beat another good program in Elk Lake 71 to 63. Some familiar names in this Wyalusing Valley roster we'll talk about here in just a minute that I coached against and I'm sure you've seen play uh, for many a years, including kids like Kashawn Cameron, Blake Morningstar, Isaiah Way, Grayson Cobb. Um, a good formidable opponent here for the Black Knights in their last game before the Valley Christmas Tournament. Yeah, I, this Wyalusing Rams team is gonna be tough. Uh, you know, Abram Bennett, um, you know, a good shooter. Isaiah Way, you know, a former, you know, freshman of the year uh, candidate before, you know, he take, you know, took a year off. Um, Cameron being, you know, one of the most dynamic athletes probably in the NTL. Um, but I was always a big fan of uh, Grayson Cobb, the way he played and controls the game and, and just seems to not get too high or too low. Um, and, and they have a formidable team that's going to be tough for the Black Knights tonight. Yeah, this is going to be a good wide losing basketball game to watch this year in this game as well. Um, the Black Knights, like I said, come in at 1-4, at four, though. They've kept every game they've played so far close. They've not got blown out yet this year. Um, coming in the starting lineup of Ani Avani, Schroeder's back after his absence. Um, Schoonover, Irish, Hartman, and Lambert not starting tonight, but he's back too after uh, suffering a concussion in the opening game. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how... Uh, he kind of, you know, he's not probably used to coming in off the bench, but, you know, coming off injuries or anything like that. Um, you know, you miss some practice, and you got to kind of get back into the rhythm. But if he gets it going, he can definitely be a game changer for the Black Knights tonight. And I'm excited to see these guys at full strength. I feel like we really haven't seen the Black Knights really for – since that first five minutes of their very first game this year really be at full strength. So it'll be interesting to see how everything is starting to get uh, into rhythm, especially coming off a win in, in Northeast Bradford. This should be an exciting one here, uh, fans. I'll tell you what, it is a packed house right now. I think Wildest and Valley brought just as many fans as the Black Knights have. It's about 50-50 here in the gymnasium, and there are not many seats left in the house for this one. Uh, both teams have their captains right now at the middle of the court taking the direction from the officials. We're about two minutes away from tip-off. Uh, coach, coming into this one, what do you, ex I mean, we are pretty familiar with these wide losing kids, obviously, because I coached them and you coached against them for so long. Um, what are we going to, what are the keys of this one, do you think, as far as the Black Knights coming out victorious? For the Black Knights, we they have to be able to get some points off turnovers. I, I think that's going to be a big key for them tonight, um, being able to create uh, off of some of that pressure. Now, I'm not sure what coach wants to do tonight with pressure, um, and maybe he has something else in the game plan, but I think one of the things that he has to do is, is create some turnovers, just get your hands on some balls and run out in transition um, and get some easy ones, because I know last time you know we, we started to talk about uh, some of these guys, it was a lot of three-pointers, and you know, uh, Tawanda's kind of lived and died by the three, even the girls' side, as we talked about last time, but you know, especially for the boys too, that's that's kind of where they're getting the majority of their points. And um, I think it's important for them to try to get some paint touches um, and then get some shots up from that painted area as well. We did not watch Milton or Muncie, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is probably the most athletic team that the Black Knights have played so far this season. You just talked about Kashawn Cameron being possibly one of the best athletes in the Northern Tier League this year. And that's not even talking about Blake Morningstar, who's a Division I baseball um, signee at Wake Forest. Yeah, and you can just tell, uh, you know, watch them in the warm-ups and knowing them for so many years and knowing their success as a junior high program. And, um, you know, Coach Kais is going to have these boys ready to play. They're going to play hard. They're going to be flying around. They're going to be talking on defense. It's going to be intense. The crowd's going to be into it. 
Um, and it, it is just different when the Rams and Black Knights play together. It doesn't Always, matter the record or yeah. anything like that. Always has a potential to be a chippy game. Well, it's a rivalry game for a reason. It's the last game before we get ready for the Good Valley evening, Christmas tournament. We are getting ready now for the introduction of the teams here and the national anthem and the alma mater. We are going to see the Wiley and Rams being introduced first. Running down again, their starting lineup. They have the senior, Kushan Cameron, number three. The junior, D1 baseball prospect, Blake Morningstar, number four. Abram Bennett, who's one kid that seems to get lost in the shuffle as far as conversation, but a very good basketball player, number 11 for the Rams. Isaiah Way is back this year, number 15. A couple years ago, we were talking in the pregame. He was the freshman of the year in the NTL. Um, and then, of course, Grayson Cobb, who seems to be the glue to this wide losing program, number 23. Good shooting team. Um, again, you expect this game to be very high velocity. Everything amongst those things will be good into this one. And again, looking at the games they've played so far this year, they've had close games and they've beaten some pretty good teams in Elk Lake and kept it close with Troy. And we know Troy's probably going to be, got to be considered to be the favorite of the NCL this year. Definitely. We have the alma mater and then and the, and the national anthem and the alma mater. After that, we'll have the introductions. We'll be back in a minute. Following the anthem, please remain standing for the Juan alma mater. Now, introducing the starting lineup for the Raiders. The Raiders are coached by... All right, welcome back here, Black Knight and Ram fans for this one. Both teams are being introduced off their bench right now. Again, I know I just went over, but one more time. Kashawn Cameron, first of all, number three, the senior for the Rams. Uh, number four, that's Blake Morningstar. Number 11, the junior. Number 11, Abram Bennett. Number 15, number Isaiah, 15 Way. Isaiah Way. And number 23, Graydon Cobb. The starting lineup for the visiting Wild and Valley Rams. Uh, Coach, you want to take it over for the starting lineup for our Tawana yeah, Black Knights? Yeah, for the Black Knights tonight, we have number three, Dante Adaviani. Number four, Elias Schreier. Number 22, Mason Hartman. Number 23, Tegan Irish. And number 44, Justin Schreier. Well, we can already tell right now, especially sitting on the wide Lucy side, this is going to be the Number loudest four, game we've ever broadcasted. Ever. Yes. It is a loud, full crowd here tonight for this Number one. 22, it definitely Jason feels like a rivalry. Yeah. I love it. Like yeah. It, it just it's great for the kids, great Number for the environment. Yep. This is why you play. This is why you coach. This is why you come to this. And things. number 44, Justin Schooner. So the Black Knights have been introduced here as we are getting ready for this one. Coach Kais and Coach Henry giving their players their final directions of this one. Decent size for the Rams too. 
Morningstar, Morningstar is easily over 6'2", 6'3". A lot of height from Isaiah Way can jump. Deshaun Cameron, probably 5'10", 5'11", can jump as well. I'm, I'm excited to see uh, Isaiah Way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't play last year, right? Am I right? I don't believe so. Um, yeah, and he, he was so good, you know, going into high school. And, mm -hmm. you know, like we talked about, you know, the freshman of the year, um, you know, type player. And, you know, it's, it's good to see him playing ball and excited to kind of see how he's doing. So thank and you. And excited to see how Tawana plays him. Yeah, right. Yeah. So thank you for those of you that are here with us today. We are ready for tip-off. Enjoy on this Wednesday night. It is an opening tip-off. It's taken by the Rams and Cobb. Cobb gives it to Cameron, and they set up their offense here. Pensy looks like man-to-man -man by the Black Knights early. Yeah, and you'll see Cobb take a lot of pump fakes. Every time he catches the ball, you'll see number 23 kind of take that ball and just give it a little fake uh, Abram. to try to get the defense up in the air. Abram, beautiful pass to Morningstar, but the shot's up no good. Rebounded by the Black Knights. Other way they go, it's Irish. Gives it to Atiyavani, back out to Schroeder. Schroeder sets up his offense here. 30 seconds into the game, and this kind of feels like an important possession for Toronto. Just a, a nice, good start. Get the crowd into it. Get the emotions going. Settle yourself down a little bit, too. Ball moves in and out, but it's Ani Ivani who decides to take the first shot. Uh, shot up, no good. Rebound. Schoonover had it. Lost it. Taken by Cobb. Cobb back up the court here for the Rams. 0-0 just a minute into this one. Yeah, one of those shots that you can get at any time if you're Dante Adaviani. Nice take there by Wade. Isaiah Wade makes the first basket of the game. Makes it 2-0 Rams. Back the other way. Yeah, you can definitely tell this is this is no disrespect to Montrose or North Penn Liberty. This is a no, new animal in the Rams. They can fly around. Three attempt in the corner, no good by Aniavani. Almost taken in by Scootover, but it goes off his leg, out of bounds to the Rams. Yeah, a little nerves there. Just rushing things a little bit. Still not really, you know, you get a paint touch to Mason Hartman there, but, you know, there's nothing, when he catches it, there's nothing going to the basket. You gotta have something going to the basket. Knights try a full pressure taken down by Cobb, though. He steps, and yeah, you're going to be called for a travel there. Good defense by number four, Elias Schroeder, causing that turnover. Yeah, like you said in the pregame, I'm not sure how much Tawanda can pressure Y Losing. I don't know if Y Losing is a team you can really pressure that easily. And it, it's not always about you know, getting steals and getting easy layups. It's sometimes about just slowing the other team down or speeding them up and changing the pace of the game, too. Uh, nice take there. Adi Adi that shot. Dante? That yep. was. Rebounded by Cameron. He gives it off to Cobb. Back the other way come the Rams. That's number 11. Abram kind of loses his footing, but he is going to be fouled on the play. It looks like it's going to be number four, Schroeder. I think that was uh, Schoonover. Oh, they did call it on Schoonover. Yep. Okay, 44, Schoonover is first team first. 6-16 to go, first quarter, just underway. 2-0 Rams. Here comes Way down the middle, he kicks it out. Shot attempt up, no good, rebounded there by number four, that is Morningstar. His turnaround jumper goes, and it's four nothing, Why losing. Other way we go, here it's Adi Avadi with the basketball, he gives it off to number 21, that is Lambert now into the game. Moved by Hartman, scoop shot up, no good. Almost rebounded, but it goes go to bound on the Rams. It'll stay with the Black Knights. That's important for Hartman to, to take that shot, though, because that's something that we haven't seen much in the early going of this season is Hartman being a threat when he catches it in there. Nice block by, was that Cobb? Yeah, yeah it was Cobb there and the block of Ani Avani. Lambert came into the game for Schroeder on that last possession. Here is the, the Rams the other direction. It's Cameron with it, gives it off to Way. Way, the lefty, brings it in with the left hand, shot good. Is that something that can be kind of tough, Coach? You're, you're used to seeing all these right-handed guys, and it's just hard to continually remember that he's a left-handed uh, yeah. player. The kind of game is left hand there. Yeah, and it can be, but that's something that you you try to prep for, you know, yep. in, in practice and things like that. And, you know, you can tell, uh, you know, the way Coach sent the, the Black Knights out, Dante adaviani has been on the other team's best player for most of these games early on in the season. So, you know, that tells you a lot about Isaiah Way because Dante is kind of following and shadowing him most of, the, most of the night so far. Coach Henry very, very animatedly takes a 30-second timeout. Did not like what he sees. Why losing jumps off to a 6-0 lead here with five and change to go in the first quarter. This, could be, this would be a nice... Nice inbound here, depending on what Y Lucing shows you, which probably looks still like man-to-man, -man, but a nice little set play here. Try to get a nice, easy basket. 
or at least a good look. It's Irish for the oh, sorry, it's Irish yeah, it's for okay. the basketball. It gives it over to number 22, Hartman. Hartman gets inside to Schoon over. He nice move. He's able to go with his left hand over top of Way for two. First basket of the night for the Black Knights. 6-2 now, five minutes to go. And that was perfect, exactly what we talked about. Nice little high screen and roll. Uh, get it inside to Schoon over. Travel there by Cameron. Yeah, Cameron kind of took a step, then did a hop, and his shot there. He's going to have a traveling violation. Turnover on the Rams. Cameron not really known much for his shooting. Other way we go. Schoonover kind of got lost in no man's land. Tries to get over to Hart, uh, Lambert, but it goes out of bounds back to the Rams. This is really the first time we were able to see Lambert this year. Um, he did play on Monday against Northeast Bradford, but he got knocked out in the first minute and a half yeah. of that first game there. Here's Way again with a drive. He is going to do a little hezzy, and he is going to get another basket. Makes it 8-2 in the paint. Four and a half to go. Yeah, six early points by Isaiah Way for the Rams. He is definitely a difference maker. Nice hands there by Morningstar. Cobb comes way with it. He goes down the court, down the middle, kicks it out to Way. His shot up no good, short, rebounded there by Lambert. Lambert the other direction here. Halfway through the first quarter, 8-2 Rams. Three attempt from Irish, no good. Rebounded by Schoonover. Out to Flynn. Flynn has checked into the game, by the way, number five. He nice replaces take. Adi Avani. Schoonover with the underhand. He is good. Cuts it to eight to four. Love what I'm seeing early on by 44, Justin Schoonover. Being aggressive. Uh, whatever Coach Henry said in that timeout, it's kind of woken him up. Turnaround from Morningstar. Hits nothing. Rebounded there by Flynn. Give it off to Irish going the other direction. 8-4, three and a half to go. Irish against Cameron, goes right by him. Shot no good though, rebounded there by Cobb. Braden Cobb brings it up the court here for the Rams. Guarded by Lambert, Cobb gets by. Goes inside the paint, he is going to be fouled and he is going to get a nice roll with an and one opportunity. Number 23, Graydon Cobb. Really nice take there. About to go up with the right hand, kind of switched it midair to the left and got it to go. First substitution for the Rams, or second substitution, number 13, Hunter Moss. He is going to come in for Cameron. 10 to 4 now is our score with an and one opportunity for Cobb with 326 to go in the first quarter. The top shot's good. 11 to 4, the other direction we go with Irish. Nobody picks him up. He goes hard to the paint, but loses the handle on it. Taken away there by Moss. Gives it off to Cobb. Cobb and Abraham out to Way. Long three opportunity number 15. Drilled by Isaiah Way. Makes it 14 to four now. 10 point lead for the Rams. Under three. I Definitely mean, not a good sign early on I mean, uh, for the Black Knights if he's got it going from there. Hard to defend the kid when he's five feet back to three, but his shot goes. Substitution here for the Rams. Abram Bennett takes a seat. Shot attempt for Schroeder, shot long no good. Number 10, Nolan Oswald is the Ram that came in for uh, Abram. Out of bounds here on the Rams and stays with the Knights. 14-4, 2.47 to go first quarter of action. Schroeder with the basketball, now he kicks it out to Adi Avani, but it's tipped away. Stays with the Black Knights again. A lot of athleticism with the Rams. You gotta be real clean with the basketball. Yeah, everything seems really hard for the Black Knights And so rushed, far. Yeah. rushed and hard, yeah, I agree. Schroeder gets it over, it's soon over back to Ani Avani, who's checked into the game, and we are gonna have something here. It's gonna be a defensive foul away from the ball on the Rams. First team foul on them, it's gonna be on number 13, that is Hunter Moss. Rams in a 2-3 on the inbound. Splin. Now they're out of it. No, I'm still a 2-3. Yep. Yeah, just really slow with the passes right now with the, the, the Knights. They're kind of showing where they're going with the basketball, and the Rams are jumping all kinds of passes right now. Just seems a half second slow. Yeah. A little bit. Here's Schoonover around the drive. He goes right against the Rams and going to draw the blocking foul. I believe it's going to be on 13 Moss. That might be his second. It will be, and the Rams are going to make a quick substitution. 
Yeah, Bennett coming back in the game. Yep. So it was a quick little timeout there for Abram. Bennett, but he'll come right back in the game after Moss gets two quick fouls. First foul shot for Schoonover is short, no good. He will have one more. Second shot goes. 14 to five, two minutes to go and 24 seconds in the first quarter. Two fouls apiece for both of these clubs. Here's Way coming down hard into the paint, kind of lost it. Gotta go, push it. In the air, scoot over the rebound. Schroeder up the court now to Lambert, back to Schroeder. Other side to Ani Avani. And we're gonna have a travel as Ani Avani picked up his pivot foot. Substitution, Irish comes back into the game for Flynn. A lot of substitutions here in the first uh, quarter for Coach Henry. Yeah, about seven guys rotating in right now. A um, couple guys that normally start also coming into the game. Foul here on the Black Knights. Third team foul is going to be on number 21. That is Lambert, his first with the hand check. Here's Cobb turning the corner of the paint. He's going to do a pull-up jumper. Shot no good. Rebounded by Fight for the rebound. Morningstar and a bunch of Black Knights. Now it's a mad scrum for the ball. Still on the ground, but Morningstar comes up with it. Lambert is in the passing lane, but can't hang on to it, though, as number 10 Oswald wrestled it away. Rams continue the possession. A minute 39 to go for his quarter now. Three seconds. Three second violation on the Rams there. Yeah, it's Abraham was turning the corner. Abrams Bennett was turning the corner. Yeah, Morningstar was in there. A little too long that time. Chakota checks in the game for the first time tonight. He takes out Lambert. 14-5 is the score. Minute and a half to go first quarter. Want back on offense. Chakota with the ball. Tries to bully his way in against Morningstar. Yeah. And he does so nicely. Nice finish. Yeah. Makes it a 14-7 game now. And that's the kind of stuff that Chakona has to be able to do. He has to be able to play bully ball when he's in the game down low. Got a good size to him. Way again drives with that left hand. Shot was no good, but he does draw the foul and will shoot two. Yeah, and as you know, as a teammate here, you know, thinking that from a player's perspective, um, that's the you know, third or fourth time Adoviani's needed a little help with uh, Way driving to the basket, and going to his left, and you know you got to be ready to step over and maybe try to take a charge or make that more, more of a, a pull-up shot. Truly, I don't think there's a Black Knight on the court that could that could guard Isaiah Way one-on-one. Nope. Uh, for, and that's not a knock on any no. Black Knight. Isaiah no. Way is just a special yeah. basketball player. His first free throw goes. He'll have one more. It's 15 to seven now. Minute 10 to go. First quarter. Second free throw is long, no good. Rebounded long by Schroeder. Schroeder brings it up the court here in an eight-point game. Dribbling around, gets into the paint. Kind of lost it. Might have got away with a travel, but he is going to draw the foul on Cobb. Must have got him with the body, and he will shoot two. Will Schroeder. That's Cobb's first foul. Team third on the Rams. Four currently on the Tawana Black Knights. Schroeder's first shot is long, no good. He'll have one more. That was pretty close. I see yeah. Cobb's over there really pleading his case with the official right now. Second shot good for Schroeder, though. Makes it 15 to 8 now. Exactly a minute to go first quarter. Abram Bennett will bring the ball up the court this time for the Rams. Black Knights stay in their man to man defense. Morningstar gives it off to Cobb. Cobb dribbles in, nobody there. His shot, his friendly roll goes, makes it 17 to eight now. 40 seconds to go, other direction. Schroeder in a Chacona, good hands and defense there by, who is that, number? Number one. Number one, that's. Hugo. Yeah, Trahan Hugo has come into the game. Missed that substitution. Comes in and plays good defense on Chacona down low. Seventeen, eight, thirty-four seconds to go. Tawana looking for a good possession here to end the quarter. It's Irish with the basketball. The sophomore brings it into the paint. His shot up, no good. Chacona fought for it. Goes back to Irish, and he is rejected from behind by number ten Oswald. But they're going to get the foul. Be interesting to see who they call this foul on. It looked like a real clean block. It was Oswald. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I mean, I guess you get him with a swipe, but it looked like all ball. Irish will shoot two. 
substitutions keep rolling in here for the Black Knights. It looks like Lambert has checked into the scorer's table. And that was the first uh, foul on Oswald, fourth team on the Rams. Actually, now there's three Black Knights at the table. We've got Flynn has joined him over there. First shot good for Irish. Hartman, Lambert, Flynn come in, out, or Chicona, Aniavani, and Schoonover for the last 25 seconds of the quarter. 17 to nine, 25 seconds left. Second free throw for Irish is up, and it's short, no good, rebounded there by Way. Make sure you give, make him give this one up. Way again drives in left hand, kick out, good defense by Hartman, a back out from the Rams, didn't like what they saw, they'll work for the last shot. 10 seconds to go now. It's Abram Bennett against Flynn, top of, under six to go now. Abram Bennett with the left hand. And there's going to be a travel. Good defense by Irish. And that was just better, and you know what I was hinting at before, is just better team defense. Make, make the, you know, Way and um, Cobb give that ball up on their drive. They've gotten to the paint too easy. So attack those guys when they put it on the ground and, and make someone else beat you right now because they're beating you by themselves. They got 15 of the 17. A couple more substitutions for the last three seconds. Hartman tried to turn around from half court. It was short. And that will be the end of the first quarter of action. It is the Wyalusing Valley Rams 17 and the Tawanda Black Knights 9. We're back here in about a minute to go here for the second quarter action live from Tawanda. We have four team fouls apiece thus far, a 17 to nine lead for the visiting Wyalusing Valley Rams. Isaiah Way was having his way there in that first quarter. Coach, how many points do you have for before to start off this? Isaiah has 10. 10 points. And uh, Cobb has five. Like I said, right before the end of the, the first quarter there, 15 of the 17 are coming from two of the Rams. And uh, they've been pretty easy. You know, I think one three from them, but mm -hmm. everything's been in the paint. It's been really easy on one side and a little difficult on the other. Nice take there by Lambert. Great backdoor cut by Lambert. He really had nice Sean Cameron too. confused. The shot was good. 17 to 11 now, seven and a half to go. Just underway second quarter. It's way going the other direction. He goes right by every Black Knight. But he is going to be pushed, I believe he's on the floor they're calling that, before the shot. Still waiting for the call of who the foul was on. I believe it was on Lambert, it wow. was. That's his second, that's a big foul. Right now on the floor for the Knights, we have uh, Flynn, Schoonover, Schroeder, Lambert, and Hartman. For the Rams, it is Morningstar, Way, Abram, Cobb, and Cameron. Shot no good, rebound by Morningstar. His shot back up goes in the paint, makes it 19 to 11. The Rams having their way in the paint thus far against the Black Knights. And we, you know, shouldn't say we expected that, but we kind of understood that could be a possibility with the size of the Rams. Yeah, that matchup wise, it hasn't been too big of a deal so far. It's really just been about so shot selection and uh, the Rams' ability to get to the paint without really anybody stopping them. Tawana gets the offensive board and will continue their uh, possession here to start the second quarter. We're about a minute in, five team fouls on the uh, Black Knights, four on the Rams. Schroeder with it, gives it out to Schoonover. Another backdoor cut opportunity. They're trying, what they're doing right now, yeah, shot goes and one for Lambert. They're catching to Sean Cameron being uh, too aggressive on those passes and Lambert is backdoor cutting him all day. Second exact same uh, play design there, two more points and a free throw. Yeah, and that's the second in a row uh, a backdoor cut has, has beaten the Rams for an easy layup and uh, you know if the Black Knights can get them sleeping in a little bit and cut hard and make those sharp passes on time they're going to have some success and those are the shots that you need right now if you're Tawanda. Lambert's free throw is no good but there was a fight for the rebound and it's going to end up with a jolting ball. It will go to the Rams but it will at least change the possession arrow in the Black Knights favor. 
6.50 to go, first half of play, 19-13 in favor of the visiting Rams. We have a foul here. Offensive on Cobb. Yeah, Cobb and Schroeder going at it there, and they're way away from the ball in the backcourt, and they're gonna get Cobb for something. And I, I was just gonna mention how I, I actually really like that from the Black Knights and, and Coach Henry kind of denying him the ball a little bit, and that's what I talked about pregame about, just some pressure. It's not always about, you know, getting a turnover every time, but it's about slowing them down, speeding them up, and just getting that change of pace, and it causes turnovers naturally. With that foul, Cobb has to come out of the game. The Rams, good hands on the inbound. They take away the pass. It's going to be way the other direction. Way kicks it out to Abram Bennett. Bennett comes in, almost looks like a foul, but they're not going to call anything. Hartman with the rebound. Other way we go, Schoonover not afraid to drive. He will check it, though, bring it out to Flynn. Flynn fires a three from the top of the key. Shot no good. And we have another foul on the Rams. I believe this one's going to be under the 10. Oswald, who just came in for Cobb. It will be, and that's the second foul on Nolan Oswald. Yeah, Black Knights are a little, tempo is a little bit better right now in this second quarter. Um, pushing the ball a little bit, starting to play more of the style that we've seen them be a little bit more successful with. Tawanda already into the bonuses. That's the seventh team foul on the visiting Rams, so Grady Flynn will the line for a one and one opportunity. 6.23 to go, six point lead for Wileyson Valley. Flynn's first free throw up, way long, no good. Rebounded there by Way. I think Way has gotten every single rebound on a uh, foul shot thus far. Way up to Cameron, who gives it out to Bennett. Bennett's going to hit Way. He's going to launch another three shot off, no good. Schoonover had the rebound, knocked out of his hands by Oswald. Stays with the Black Knights. Another substitution. We're trying our best to keep up with these subs. They are mass subbing at a high quality, but as we do that, Coach Kais calls a 30-second timeout. 30-second timeout here. Why losing 19-13, 6 9 to go, first half. It's been a very fast-paced ga game thus far, as expected. Six-point lead here for the Rams. Well, this is going to show some pressure this time as Tawanda will inbound under their own basket. Schoonover with it, up to Schroeder. Schroeder back to Schoonover. Good press break there by the Knights. It's Irish the other direction to Schroeder. Aniavani, by the way, number three, has checked back into the game for the Knights. Hartman's in the game as well with Schoonover, Schroeder, and Irish. The Ram two, three zone. Yeah. The Rams have been going back and forth in that two three and that man. It's Cameron Way, Abram, Oswald, and Morningstar for the Rams. Three point good basket luck. up. It is good. Ani Avadi, the three point specialist for the Black Knights, makes it 19 to 16. Five and a half to go, first half. Closest the Knights have been since the beginning of this one. Morningstar somehow gets that shot off. They're going to well, give him the shots, too. I think so. Yeah. While being absolutely harassed there. Good pump fake there by Isaiah Way. It's going to be on Ani Avani, his first team sixth for the Knights, and Way will shoot, too. Yeah, and that's one of those is, you know, Coach Henry, you know, you don't even, didn't even really see him say anything. Just Dante was working so hard on that one. You don't want to, you know, discourage him from doing that more. Just got to be a little bit smarter, you know, keep that body. Uh, Again, it's, space a, it's a, a tough challenge yeah. taking on Isaiah Way. First free throw for Way was good. Second free throw also good. 21-16, five-point lead, Rams. Still showing pressure. Got to be smart here, break the press, and get a good look, take it. Irish wanted to get the ball to anybody in the corner. Good hands by the Rams, out of bounds, stays with the Black Knights. Two, three for the Rams, inbounded there by Irish to Schroeder. Schroeder brings it back to the top. Ball moving on top of the key by Tawanda, back to Schroeder, back to Irish, back to Adiavani. Irish able to get baseline that time, kicks it out to Schroeder, his three up, short, no good, rebound there by number four, 
Morningstar. Really good rebound there by Morningstar, too. A little out of Strong position. Hands. Hartman had the, a, a decent position on him, too. And to go up and grab that one was big. Morning, or, uh, yeah, Way, she's got a three, no good. Another good rebound there by Oswald. Gets it back out to Way. He drives shot, no good. Rebounded by Hartman. Here come the Knights with numbers. Four on three opportunity, now back to three on three. Irish loses the handle on it, though, back to Schroeder. Schroeder gets into the paint with a little hesitation of his own as floater goes to make it 21-18. Good take by Elias Schroeder. Really nice strong hand there. Driving right to the middle, nice little float to get in for two. Cut this thing within three. Abram Bennett launches a three, and that is good. It's a 24 to 18. Yeah, Tuan has been able to cut it to three to four to five points, but Wyloosing has had the answers thus far. Aniavani tries to answer with a three ball of his own. That is where you cannot leave him alone. Dante Aniavani, another three. 24 21. Back and forth we go with offensive shots raining down now. What a difference between the first and second quarter for really all the Black Knights so far, too. Just lo looks more in rhythm. Nice shot there by Morningstar. Beautiful pass by, yeah, Oswald to Morningstar. Good and again, by Lusing responds. 26-21, Tuana still trying to claw their way to get back to tie or take the lead in this ball game. Schroeder with the basketball now against Cameron. Gives it off to Irish. He turns the corner himself. Nice move, just no good. Influence there, possibly by Morningstar. Yeah, needed that one. Curled really nice off that screen, too. It attacked hard. And it needed that layup right there. Cameron's jumper is no good. Big rebound by Blake Morningstar. They're going to give him the bucket and a foul for an and one opportunity. And that's the first time we've seen Blake Morningstar, who's in his past been a very emotional kid on you know on the baseball diamond, the football field. First time we've actually seen some emotion out of him, kind of pumping the fist there. That yeah. was on uh, uh, scoot over too. He's been. Uh a little waking up here in this second quarter, too, especially on the glass. Getting some good looks for the Rams in the paint. Well, Morningstar just shushed the Tawanda crowd as he made that free throw at his way back to defense. 29-21, three minutes to go now. Nice pass. Good response, but the shot does not go, but he will be fouled, and that is going to be Irish, who will go to the line and shoot two. You had a lot of different personalities in this game for both teams, for Wiley Singh and Tawana. You got some kids that you don't hear a lot from, and then you have kids like Morningstar who, you know, are a little more animated in the way they play their sports. And a quick whistle there on that free throw, but it goes for Irish, and they'll shoot one more. I think the ball was still in the air when that, <laughs> that buzzer was hit there. 30-22, first free throw goes for Irish. He'll shoot one more. Three minutes to go in a fast-paced second quarter. Second free throw also good for Irish. More substitutions as Flynn has come into the game. Flynn and Chacona have come in. Uh, the Rams have their number one Hugo checked into the game for them. Way gets in the paint. Tough turnaround jumper falling away from his left hand, but it does go. That was a really difficult shot. Makes it 32 to 27 now. Shot no good there for Irish, rebounded by Hugo. Good minutes here for the Rams. You got to tell them right now without Cobb out there. Isaiah Way really seems to be taking over. And we're going to have a offensive foul on the Rams. Looks like Morningstar was getting too physical with Chacona down low. We have a scores. Yep. Yeah, we, we had a little issue with the score there on the scoreboard. Should be 31 to 23 right now is what we've got here. We'll see what 32. That'll happen. I've been behind the scores. I've been behind that myself. As fast paced as this has been, you make one accident, a little oops with a home in the way, and it'll mess the whole thing up. Coach Henry now wants to have a word with the score. I have 31 23. I did not, I'm missing a point. Yeah. If, that, if, if it's actually 32 to 23, I'm. Our guys I'm behind the scene, the cameras here. here, also have 31 23. So we'll see if Coach Henry gets his wish here. And he does. It's now yep. 31 23. So we are all on the same page, I think, now. Coach Kai's kind of walked away. He's trying to hope for an extra point. And we're going to have some more conversation. Guess we'll take this second to wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Yeah, last one before the, the holiday, right? Yeah. 
Did you get your Christmas shopping all done? I did. Just right. got a wrap. I was going to say, I know you, you just went up the other day. Uh, yeah, all but one. I'm kind of still waiting on, but okay. we'll see if that comes in time. I got faith in FedEx. Back on offense come the Knights. It's Ani Avani. Trailing by eight with two and a half to go here in the first half. Ani Avani gives it off to uh, Schroeder. He's covered by Cameron. He gets by Cameron. His shot is up and good. Oh, a tough floater there by Schroeder. 31. The left hand there. Yeah, 31 25. Looks like they're really attacking Cameron, too, on offense. Two minutes left. Here's Abram Bennett. He kicks it out to Way. He pump fakes twice. Gives it back to Abram. Stay on your feet there, young man. Dante Adaviani getting caught on that pump fake again. You want to stay on your feet. Play straight up. Make him beat you from the outside. He's only hit one or two from the outside. Entry past the Morningstar. Nice turnaround uh, floater goes to make it 33-25. And that's tough when you're guarding way as hard as you are. Morningstar can do things like that right behind that. Good hands by Morningstar. It's intercepted by Way. One on one, him and Irish. He goes right at Irish. Fakes it. Misses the wreath, or the layup, though. No good. Turnaround, no good for Morningstar. Second one's no good. Another rebound by Way, but he loses it out of bounds, and it finally will go to the Black Knights. I know uh, Justin Schoonover has, I, I believe, two fouls, and I think that's probably where he'll, he'll be on the bench the last minute and a half here. Uh, but that's a possession right there where the Black Knights missed Justin Schoonover on yeah. that rebounding. Just about a minute, Ani Avati brings it down, gives it a Schroeder. Eight point game in favor of the visiting Rams out of Wailusing Valley. Flynn with the basketball here, he's looking inside, doesn't find anything out to Ani Avani back to Flynn. Flynn really wants to get into Shakona against Morningstar, he does. Good hands by Cameron, but it goes into the hands of Schroeder. Schroeder gives it to Irish, Irish in, back to Schroeder, three up, it is nice good. Shot. Elias Schroeder with a hand in his face, buries a corner three to make it a five point game, now 50 seconds left. Coach Kais did not like that one, as you heard him shout after the shot went in. Way tries to get into Morningstar, shot or pass taken away. Here comes Schroeder, numbers for the Knights. But Ani Avani and his collection does travel. I got to give it up to Elias Schroeder on these last, offensively with a really great shot, um, but defensively right there, playing Cameron in the corner, goes down and helps out, gets a, a tip ball and a steal when they're trying to dump it into Morningstar. Morningstar's been hurting them from there. A really nice, smart basketball play from Schroeder. Black Knights try to lock down defensively in the final half a minute to go. Cameron gets in the paint, loses the ball, finds the hands of Way. Way down to Morningstar again. Chicona playing defense on him. Kicks it out to Cameron. 15 seconds to go now. Abram Bennett looking to try and set the offense up for one final shot. Under 10 to go now. Abram gives it out to Hugo. Hugo inside. It's going to be Morningstar. Turn around against Chicona. Goes, and that's a big basket to end the first half there for Blake Morningstar. And that's the end of the first half with the score. The Wyalusing Valley Rams 35 and our Tawana Black Knights 28. We'll be back here in a little bit to go over the first half scoring, give a synopsis, and look at our um, schedule going forward. Again, it's 35-28. Rams have the lead.
All right, so that is the end of a very fast-paced first half of basketball there as it sees the rival Wyalusing Rams jumping out to a 35 to 28 lead on our Black Knights after a half of play. Uh, Coach Johnson's going to run down our really quick scoring at the half and then we'll kind of talk about what we see. I'll get, take it over to Coach Johnson for some keys to the second half and we'll look at our schedule going forward. So Coach, you want to take it away? Yes, I can. Uh, for the Black Knights of Tawanda, we have Dante Adebiani with six points, Elias Schroeder with eight, uh, Octavia Shakona with two, uh, Logan Lambert with four points, Tegan Irish with three, and Justin Schoonover with five. Well, while losing Rams a little bit more top heavy for the Rams, we have Blake Morningstar with 13, Isaiah Way with 14, uh, Graydon Cobb with five, and Abram Bennett with three. All right, so yeah, like we like we thought coming into this one, uh, Graydon Cobb getting in a little bit of foul trouble, but it was Morningstar and uh, of course Isaiah Way that have kind of carried the load offensively for the Rams. Uh, Coach, do you kind of have some um, some keys or some thoughts as far as how the Black Knights can get back into this and what they have to do to try and erase a seven-point lead and try and escape out of here the win over their rivals? Yeah, the uh, the positive for the the Black Knights, you know, it's you're down seven, which is you know three possessions. Um, and you didn't really have your best half, especially defensively. You, you know, you're trying to figure things out on the fly. It, it felt like at times. Um, you know, one of the things, free throws and turnovers are always going to be a big part in a close game. So, you know, the Black Knights have missed some free throws. They're shooting right around 50% so far um, in the first half. And those are, those are going to be important parts if you want to get back into the game. Because you're going to find yourself at the free throw line, and those points are going to uh, be big time and add up. Um, and it, it always feels like when you miss those free throws, it's just a, it, it's almost like a big sigh every time you miss one and everything. But I think the most important thing for the Black Knights is their, their team defense. Individually, I think Dante's doing a, a great job on Isaiah Way. Um, I think Elias has done a really good job. But they need to really start having more of those moments of really great team defense. And, um, you know, helping out a little bit more on Morningstar, denying him the ball. Um, when they're looking for those post entries to him, you know, really being active with their hands, pressuring the ball a little bit more. Um, and then Isaiah Way, keeping him out of the paint. Um, that's really where he's hurt you. He's hit, he hit the one big three, um, but Dante's doing a good job. Every time he's stayed out of the paint, he either had to make a tough shot or he's missed, and I think that's going to be a, a big key too. And like you said, with Cobb, you know, missing some time in that first half, when he comes in, he's going to be ready to go and want to look to score, and you got to be ready to, to kind of fight that fire a little bit too. Um, and offensively, you got to keep doing what you were doing in that second quarter. Be aggressive, push the ball up as many times as you can, try to get to the free throw line, get some easy shots, and really take advantage of some of the Rams overplaying with some of those back doors uh, and such too. Uh, quickly, because we do have to go over the schedule going forward, um, what do you think about the Black Knights playing man-to-man -man against Y. Lucy? I it's been okay at times, and it, that's kind of what I'm getting at. You know, there's been times where the team defense has been great, and then other times where rotations have been slow to get over, um, or guys are latched on to guys that not necessarily need to be latched on. You know, I mentioned at that, the end of the second quarter where Elias kind of came off of uh, Kashawn Cameron in the corner to help out on Morningstar, you know, and those are guys when you're watching film and things like that you say hey you know Cameron doesn't shoot a lot of threes or have a high percentage we can play off of him a little bit and you know Morningstar has 14 points in the first half with easy hook shots from eight feet away I got to go down and help there and those are the types of things mentally as a player that in, in coach that you have to keep in mind and, and try to do better. So looking forward um, to our schedule this week, of course, obviously being Christmas, this will be the last broadcast we have until after the holidays. Uh, the boys will be back in the annual Valley Christmas Tournament on the 28th of December. Uh, they will be playing their first matchup uh, at Sayre uh, with a 7.30 tip-off time. Could be an interesting game. We know Could Sayre be. has had the Black Knights number for a couple of years now. They've got Fabri back again. The Horton Cousins are back. Um, could be an interesting matchup up there. The Valley Christmas Tournament, always a staple here in the NTL. That's, of course, between Athens, Wyal or Athens Waverly, um, Tawanda, and Sayre. And then the girls, if I look ahead here, they will be in the Moravia High School Valley Christmas Tournament. That can't be right. They're not no, playing. right here. Sayre. Oh, I am looking at the junior varsity. Yep. Moravia. 
Yeah. Yeah, so the girls are also playing against uh, Sarah, but that's going to be a 6 o'clock game. So you have a double header there, the 28th. The girls playing Sarah at 6 o'clock at Sarah, um, and the boys playing at 730. Uh, I don't know anything about the Sarah girls, to be honest with you. I know they've had a couple games canceled or at least postponed this year because due to low numbers. Um, okay. So we'll see if the, the Lady Knights can get back on track because they did lose a tough one uh, Monday night against Loyal Sock. I mean, the yeah. perennial District 4 AAA foe. I believe the final score of that game was 72-50, to 50, but I did tune in at halftime. I think it was a one-point game, so the Lady Knights did play the um, – the, Lan the Lady Lancers pretty tough in that one. So a couple cool, interesting games coming up there. They're going to be, of course, away, so then we will not broadcast them. Our next broadcast, as of right now, for the boys is not going to be until the 14th, I believe I saw on there. The 6th is away. The 8th is away. The 12th is away. Yeah, the North 14th, Penn. North Penn Mansfield comes to town, so that's going to be a wait. Um, and then the girls, we have what's our next one? The 5th. 5th, fifth. 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 okay. Fifth. They play home with Athens, which could be a fun one, so. Both teams are getting their way, are getting on back to the court as we speak here. We are about two and a half minutes to go until the uh, tip off of the third quarter. Uh, we're going to take a short break here. It's 35 28 in favor of the Wildest and Valley Rams. We're back in the third quarter in just a couple minutes. Welcome back, Black Knight fans. My uh, colleague, Mr. Clark here, had to take a little reprieve. No, I'm in it. I am now here. He's back. I am out of breath, but we are back for action. <laughs> the Knights are on offense, and they've turned it over as Morningstar takes that away. Back the other way we go. Good hands there by Isaiah Way on Mason Hartman's drive. Nice take by Cobb. A little spin off the glass. Cobb, sick and tired of sitting down, goes in and puts it in right away in the first possession for the Rams in the second half. 37-28, nine-point lead, Rams. Schroeder inside to scoot over his shot up, no good. Fight for the rebound, good hands and strength by Hartman, but his shot is no good. Eventually corralled by number 11, Abram Bennett. It's Bennett, Cobb, Morningstar, Cameron, and Way out for the Rams. Lambert gets a start here in the second half with the rest of the starting lineup for the Knights, we have a foul here. It's going to be on, they call that on Ani Avani? I believe so. They did, that's his second team first. Rams keep possession. Very surprised too. I thought it was some pretty good defense. Nice hands there by Schroeder. 
There's been a couple fouls that have been kind of ticky tacky in this one. Nice shot. Yeah, uh, Graydon Cobb's back, if you did not notice, as he comes in and just drills a shot as well. 39 28 now, 11 point lead for the Rams. I believe that ties their highest lead of the ball game. And kind of something I hinted at, hinted at at halftime with Cobb not playing as much in that second quarter. Um, that I, he kind of figured he was going to come in and try to be aggressive. Nice move there by Logan Lambert. Ani Avani, maybe a rush shot. Great job by Lambert backing in Cameron and putting it for two. Nice to have number 21, Logan Lambert, back in the lineup for this game. 39-30 now. Cameron passes it over to Abram Bennett. Back to Deshaun Cameron, back to Isaiah Way. Back inside, Morningstar kicks it out. Abram Bennett's three, long, no good. Rebounded by Schwader. Schroeder up the court to Ani Avani. Ani Avani drives in, hits Schroeder for three. Shot long, no good. Rebounded over again by Lambert. Look second off, yeah, second offensive board and as many possessions for Lambert. He gets it back out and the offense will be reset for Tawanda. Ani Avani with the basketball, swings it over to Lambert. Lambert will get Cameron. I think Tawanda likes that matchup quite a bit. Back to Lambert, gets it into Hartman. Back out to Lambert. He will pop a three in the corner, shot just short, no good. Rebounded nice by rebound. Hartman. Hartman, nice. yes, doing work down low is the senior. Number 22 puts it in. It's back down to seven, five and a half left third quarter. Hartman with two really good offensive possessions in a row, just doing the dirty work. Tawana began to pound the boards offensive and defensive. Hartman gets another rebound up pass to Adi Avani. He kicks it out to Lambert. Lambert back to Adi Avani. Tough to see down the corner here as there's so many fans here for the Rams, and they are loud as well. Schoonover kind of lost it, gets it out to Ani Avani, who drives in, shot, and he is hit on the arm. I believe that was by Bennett. It was his first, and two free throws coming up for Dante Ani Avani. And I think that shot that Dante just took right there, instead of settling for that three, tells you that he's kind of into the game now a little bit too, because early on that first quarter, his first two shots were kind of hurried threes, in that time, he could have taken that three pretty easily, but it was nice to see that nice little ball fake drive left and get to the free throw line. Second shot goes for Adi Avani. I got an idea. So we did trivia a lot last year. We'll keep doing that again this year, but let's do like an all NTL name team this year. My first nominations for Dante Adi Avani. Love it. Okay. Love the name Dante nice Adi by Isaiah Way for three. Isaiah Way's three does go. It's a nine point game again. Just based on cool names. Yeah, I'm saying. just going, okay. I'm saying like the all name all right. team. So our first one, I think, of the year for the boys' side is Dante Aniavani. I like it. Nice take. And there is Aniavani on you as basket goes, but they are going to say it was on the floor before the shot. If it was the NBA, that would have been good. In mm, college, it might have been good. Mm. Tawana does keep possession, though, inbounded by Lambert. He hits Hartman. He's one on one with Morningstar. <laughs> Mason Hartman's having himself a good basketball game. As he turns around, makes another basket, makes it a seven point game again. Four and a half to go third quarter. Way gets it in deep to Morningstar. His turnaround jumper and Morningstar and Hartman are having themselves a little one on one as that one goes over top of Hartman this time by Morningstar. Nine point game again, four to go. Oh, takeaway here by Graydon Cobb. <laughs> I thought for a second he was thinking about a dunk, but he puts it in nice. Back to 11 for the Rams. I think he won. He was thinking about it. Yeah, I, yeah. Coach Henry. Out. Yeah, Coach Henry's going to try and stop this momentum for the Rams, taking a full timeout. 46-35, 3:56 to go, third quarter. We'll be back in a minute. Forty-six, thirty-five, third quarter action halfway through it. I do want to take this time, and I appreciate um, so much that I got these names. The stream manager for this game and for all the games probably going forward, Sam Tavani and the camera operators, Lily Rice and Owen Lane. We want to give them a special shout-out and a special thank you for everything that they have done here. 
basically making our job seamless as we come in here. They give us everything we need, all the equipment, the cameras work behind the scenes, making sure that our microphones are on, turn to the right volume. So shout out again to Lily Rice, Owen Lane, and Sam Tavani for a job well done. Yeah, it's awesome. It, it's so cool. You know, it's one of these things that, you know, you look back like when you were in high school and stuff and you kind of wish that yeah. you had this kind of stuff, right? And these are kids volunteering yeah. their time, you know, and they could be home doing other things to be here and help us out and help out their school. So props to those three very, very much appreciative of what they've done and allowing this thing to be broadcasting for you at home. So back on offense come the Knights. A lot of playing catcher between Lambert and Schoonover. Lambert does touch the end line, though, as he tries to turn the corner. It'll be a turnover back to the Rams. 46-35, 11-point lead, 3.39 to go, third quarter. Bennett gives it to Cobb. Cobb, the main ball handler for the Rams, turns the corner very quickly. Schroeder, number 12, into the game. He kind of got his hands on that one. Here comes Schoon over the other way. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Cameron. And he's going to take him to the hole, and he is good with the left hand. Cuts it back to nine. Yeah, really nice steal there from Schoonover, taking it coast to coast. Yeah, nice little floater. It kind of looked like Cameron may have wanted to try to take a charge there too. It. So it was a nice job of trying to avoid that foul too. Why losing rolling yeah, with their nice. five starters right now. And the Black Knights have theirs with number 12, the freshman, Schroeder in the ball game. Gonna have a foul here. It's gonna be on the Rams. Number four, that was Blake Morningstar. That's only his first foul of the game. Hard to believe how hard he's been playing down low. Substitution for the uh, Black Knights as Lambert comes out and Irish, number 23, comes back into the game. Back on offense are the Black Knights trying to cut into this nine point game. It's been right around that seven to 11 point game here most of the third quarter. I'll tell you, they're exposing Cameron right now. Is that was, was that Irish? Yeah. yeah, Irish who takes it to the hole, does miss the free throw, or does miss the um, layup. Oh, he's not gonna get, it's called on the floor, huh? Hmm. Yeah, another one of those real close ones. Fourth team foul on Y Lucing. Inbound to Hartman, he shot is no good, rebounded by Cameron. They called that last foul, by the way, on Cameron, that was his second. Ball in deep in the paint again with Morningstar, he is just being harassed inside by Hartman. Not sure how he kept his pivot foot down there, but he did. Really surprised, there may have been an offensive yeah. foul there, and now we got a tactical on Coach Kyes. I'll tell you what, you don't see that every day. When you get a basket, and then after that basket, you get teched. When your team scores a basket, and then you get a technical foul. I know he wanted the and one, or he wanted it or something, but it's not every day you see that. I will say. When your team up by 11, and you just scored. Nothing surprising me yeah, too much right. in the, the Tawanda losing rivalry. Yeah. And I know Coach Kai's personally from coaching against him. I am a little disappointed. I will have to say this. A little disappointed that he's not wearing a suit jacket. Dude, and, and he hasn't thrown it yet. And the, yeah, he has known. I, I, I always enjoyed a good Brent Kai's uh, jacket play. Yep. And I hope he listens to this and gets a good a laugh out of that. Coach Kai's, we love you. Coach yeah. Kai's was my boss for a year too, so I can kind of. Dante made the second. <laughs> get away with it. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so Dante did make one of the technical foul free throws to make it a 10-point game. Tawana continues to keep possession after that as well. Here's Irish with Cameron on him. Irish takes Cameron all the way to the hole. Good job by Cameron, though, with the rebound. He's going to fly down the court. Ooh, nice Euro step by Cameron. Shot out of control, though, rebounded by Schoonover. He can fly. There's no doubt about that for Sean Cameron. Mason Hartman's going to line up a three. Rarity for him. Shot's no good. Nice save in the corner by Irish, but it's taken by Cobb. Graydon Cobb, number 23, with the basketball for Wyluson Valley. He's guarded by Lambert. Gets it out to Way. Way, beautiful pass up and over Hartman to Morningstar, and that is the typical Blake Morningstar we're used to, pumping the fist with a nice basket and an and one opportunity. Great pass by Way. You know, you could say a lot about how Isaiah Way you know, kind of took control of that first quarter, second quarter, and then, you know, Cobb coming in early in the third, but really, Blake Morningstar has been the, the biggest key to this game for the Rams. He is dominating the paint. His free throw bounces around, but does eventually go in. Substitution, Schroeder comes into the game. He is gonna take out Schoonover, and for the Rams, it's number 13, Hunter Moss, who comes in for Kershawn Cameron. 
13-point game, biggest lead of the game now for the Rams. Minute 43 to go in the third quarter of action. Yeah, I agree with you. Morningstar's having himself a game. Irish tries to bully his way in. No movement by, by Moss. Here's Way, beautiful up pass to Cobb. Out to Abram Bennett, shot no good. Rebounded there by Irish. This might be kind of relaxed time if you're Tawanda. Schroeder though comes in the paint, shot wildly no good, rebounded by Way. I think we're pressing a little bit, Coach. Yeah. A little it, bit of panic, yeah. not panic, but a little bit of. That's the word I was going to yeah, use. Yeah, okay. It, it, I don't it looks like that. It really does. Biggest lead again, like I said, of the game for the Rams. Here's Way driving into the paint. He's pushed, but they are going to call a foul. I'm not sure who on. I don't know if I saw a defensive yeah. foul on that one. I, yeah, I don't, I don't love that one. I know uh, Coach Henry's not going to like that one either. I mean, Isaiah Way is good at what he does, at drawing fouls. He made that one look a little bit worse than it was. Third foul there on Hartman, number 22. He will shoot two, will Isaiah. First free throw up and good. Five team fouls now on Wyo losing the three team foul. That was a third team foul on the Black Knights. Second shot for Way up, also good. Makes it 53 to 38. 15 point lead now for the Rams. Big possessions here coming up for Tawanda. It's Adi Avani. 101 against Bennett. Bennett falls down, so Adi Avani shoots it and makes it. You had to make that one. Yes. You get the guy to fall like that, you got to make that shot. 53 40, 43 seconds to go. Third quarter, nice entry pass there by Moss. Turnaround by Morningstar, who is just dominating. I, I'll use that word like you did too. He can't, he can't be stopped right now. Right? Hook shots, in ones, it doesn't matter right now. 15 again for Tawana. Here is Schroeder with a comeback shot, no good. Rebounded there by Moss. He gets it out to Cobb, and Cobb will walk it up this time and look for the last shot, I would assume. 20 seconds to go, third quarter. Wylusing has swelled this thing up to 15, looking to add on here in the last possession. It's Cobb. He gives it out to Abram Bennett. Abram Bennett. <laughs> I mean, when they're falling, they're falling. Yeah. Bennett was almost on the ground. He let that go. His shot was good. Schroeder tries a three. Good defense there by Moss. And Wyalusing really amped it up there the last two minutes of that quarter, and they are going to go into the fourth quarter with a 57 to 40 lead. We'll be back here in about a minute to go for that fourth quarter. Again, Wyalusing up 17. Back here for the final quarter to start off with for Tawana. It's going to be number 44, Schoonover, number 21, Lambert, 13, Chicona, 3, Adi Avani, and 4, Schroeder. For the Rams, Moss gets to earn some more playing time. 13, number 10, that is Oswald, 23, Graydon Cobb, 4, Morningstar, and inbounding the ball for Wyalusing is number 15, Isaiah Way. Wyalusing starts off with the basketball. Schroeder already to check in for the Black Knights after this possession. Tough foul shot there by Way, no good. Rebounded by Chicona, given to Adiavani. Good start. You need stops and you need baskets if you're the Black Knights to try and get back into this one. You need lots of stops. Yes. And you need to, you know, create some, some more possessions. That's nice a shot. good start for Schroeder as comeback three goes. Coach Henry to immediately pulls his brother right back into the bench. 57-43 now with almost seven minutes to go. I like the switch that Coach Henry has on, uh, on Morningstar. Yeah, putting Scooney, the more physical kid, on him. It's wow. going to be one of those things, though, where yeah. it's got to either be a change of pace, you know, throwing a zone at him or, you know, something, or, you know, trying to front or three-quarters front, having some weak side help off of, you know, one of the players that, you know, a lot of these Rams have 
less than three points. I mean, there's really only four scorers that have 57 points for the Rams. Good hands by Cobb there as he knocks that away. Yeah, Schoonover's, or Morningstar is definitely not going to out-muscle Schoonover. Um, it's definitely the finesse of, of Morningstar right now that's going to cause problems for the Knights. They have a three-point basket. They got another stop. Other way, another three-point basket for Schroeder. So Schroeder comes in, fires two quick threes, and Coach Kais needs to stop that immediately. He takes a 30-second timeout. 57-46, Tawana back with an 11. It's 30-second timeout, so I guess we'll stay here for yeah. a second. Yeah, so like we just talked about, there's no better start you could have here, Tawana. You get two threes. You don't always need threes, but you get no. six quick points and you get three defensive stops. Yeah, within a minute. Yeah. You know, the, the only one minute went by. That's the most important part of it is it didn't take three or four minutes to have a 6-0 run. It literally took a minute and three seconds to have a 6-0 run, and, and that's where you're going to get back. You're back within 11. Now it's just, you know, hey, let's get another 4 or 5-0 run. And, that, you know, kind of just to break it apart like that. And But it starts on defense. And I still think Wyluson is going to be looking to get it to Morningstar underneath. And you got to be physical. you got to look to maybe front him and, you know, count on some team defense like we talked about at halftime. Some pressure here from the Black Knights. I like this, too, to change up that tempo a little bit. Tawana fans really into the game now, those last two baskets by Schroeder. Can't leave. Down low. Can't leave down low. There we go. Morningstar has been the paint for 10 minutes. Goes off of him, that's gonna be taken by Morningstar. So he drives in, in. Mm. gives it away, and away is mugged under the basket. And it's gonna be on the floor though. And it's only the fifth team foul on the Knights, so which will not be a shooting foul. What are they gonna call that on? Are they gonna call that on? Shikona. Uh, nope. Nope. No, Dante. That's the third on Ani Avani. Schoonover comes out of the ball game. Flynn comes in number five. Oh boy. Hunter Moss had all day to cock and load and fire a three. And it goes. And it's back to 14 there for Y Loosing off of the made three point basket by Hunter Moss. Down the other way. Schroeder comes in hard. Looks like the ball was clean, but the body. It's going to allow him to go to the basket yeah. or the free throw line shoot, too. I don't believe this is going to be on Cobb. Got to be with the body, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, that, yes. that was definitely uh, Morningstar Morning. coming in from, you know, getting him with the body because Cobb definitely got that clean block there. His second. Props to Schroeder just getting straight up off that contact and making the first free throw. Substitution for Tawanda as Scootover comes right back in for Ani Avani. Second for Schroeder is also good. Schroeder, eight points already in the fourth quarter, has made this back to 12. Six minutes to go. Here's Isaiah Wade. Man, that's just a beautiful pass. Morningstar had the position down the block. His shot goes back to 14. Yeah, just a little light on the rotation from Shakona. Sliding in, got to get in front of that, off that drive. It's difficult. Schoonover shot, dances around the rim, but comes out no good. Here's Cobb the other direction. Three-point basket, that's Hunter Moss, number 13, a reserve for the Rams, comes up with a big basket there. Puts it back to 17, the largest lead again for the Rams. Yeah, those are big, big shots. And, it, you know, you got to give credit to Coach Kais with that timeout off that 6-0 run. Kind of weathered the storm a little bit. Lambert drives in hard on the right side and draws the foul and will shoot two. Two more substitutions coming for Tawanda here after the first free throw attempt. Yeah, I mean, that was, he stopped the bleeding immediately and his team goes right back and puts up, what, seven in a row? Yeah, and, and you know, we kind of hinted at this a little bit too. Nice shot there by Logan Lambert. Um, we hinted at, you know, just how these Rams, these, these guys have played together for a long time and, and you have some really, really good basketball players for Y Losing right now and they've played together for a long time and um, they're used to those 6-8-0 runs and, you know, coming out of timeouts and just kind of settling back in and, and making their own run too. Way with another rebound off of a free throw, gets it out to Cobb. It's 16 now in favor of the Wyalusen Valley Rams here on rivalry night on this Wednesday evening. Cobb with the basketball, gives it over to Way, who's kind of content, just kind of relaxing a little bit here. 
Under five to go in the ball game. Abram Bennett with Schoonover on him. Kicks it out to Moss. Moss drives it to the paint. Finds way. And now it's Abram. So Wyatt Lusing now is trying to take some time off the clock. They've already succeeded with 30 seconds. Yep. And that's going to see a lot of dribble handoffs here. Um, just, you know, dribbling out to the wings, handoff, dribbling out, just creating space, trying not to get the five counts. And Wyatt Lusing has kids that can do this. Yes, I mean, we've, seen, we've seen a couple teams this year that, oh boy. Abram Bennett left wide open, but hits nothing. Rebounded by Irish on the long side. So it's a minute it's a minute possession there for the Rams. They come out empty-handed. Into the paint they go. It's Hartman driving inside on Morningstar. There's going to be a foul before the shot. I think that's Morningstar's third or fourth. Third or fourth. Let's see here. Eighth team foul on the Rams. Third. Five on, yeah, on the Black Knights. Just the third on Morningstar, so he's not in trouble yet. 4-11 to go, Hartman to shoot two. Hartman hits his first free throw short, rebounded long there by Moss. And I don't well, know what's happening. Did they just, what? Okay, he just, I think he just pointed the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I think right? that's yeah. what happened. Yep. So, was that, so Moss's foot was out of bounds, but it stays with the Knights. Nice. Just an official point the wrong way. And Hartman gets the inbound and puts it in for two. <laughs> 14-point game now, under four minutes to go in this one. Abram Bennett thought about it, pump fakes Hartman. What a smart play there yeah. by, by Bennett good. there, just to give that little ball fake. Well, there's Morningstar, yeah. wide open on the block. Turns around and puts it in for two more. Big career night possibly for Blake Morningstar, the Division I baseball prospect going to Wake Forest in two years. Hartman drives in the paint on Morningstar, shot no good, rebounded by Way. You ever seen Blake Morningstar throw a fastball? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming in slow. I can't imagine. No. Ever since he was in Little League, that kid's... He can light up the... Uh, light up the, the gun, that's for sure. So why loosen back to playing some keep away from Tawanda here. They're doing a good job of it as they got this thing down to three minutes. Way kicks it out, and they find a wide open. Hunter Moss, his three is good. Great offensive basketball for Y. Lucin. Yeah. Waste another 30 seconds, going to three points. 19 point lead, under three to go now for Y. Lucin. That was Schoonover who was denied by Way, but he steps out of bounds and stays with the Knights. Yeah, what an answer by the Rams. I know I, we kind of talked about it before, but, you know, coming out of that timeout, I mean, they put their foot right to the pedal. Yeah. They're a good their athletic pedal team. to the metal. Dead However areas. I want to say that. I got you. It was a nice metaphor. Yeah. Really Ani Avani dribbles in, shot no good, rebounded by Morningstar. He gives it to Way, who gives it to Cobb. Cobb dribbles up. 19 point game, there is Mr. Morningstar, wide open on the block for two more, makes it 21. I don't know if he's missed a hook shot. He's made a lot of points. Schroeder, deep three, man, I'll tell you what, Schroeder's still balling. Another three goes, There's at least 11 in the quarter for Schroeder, full timeout coach Henry and the Black Knights. It's an 18 point game, two minutes and 19 seconds to go. I will say one thing before we go to break. If it stays like this the next two minutes, I will be very disappointed if the Tawanda faithful does not start a let's play football chant. Okay. Because it's the only one we can do. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> it's, the, very, it's, the, very true. <laughs> it's the only time we can do that chant. It's true. It's not for a good, it's not good because we're losing, but the, uh, it's the only time you can throw that out of your pocket. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> does Schroeder have all the points for Tawana in this quarter? Got a lot of them. With not, with yeah, Hartman 11? Had, Hartman had a couple, didn't he? He had that turnaround. He did, yep, you're right. But the majority of them has been Elias Schroeder. <laughs> playing a good game. Hartman's playing a good game. Um, Schroeder. Schroeder and Hartman, especially in the second half, both of them have, have, have done a nice job. And like you said, it just seems to be the inability. I mean, Isaiah Way is Isaiah Way just to stop Lake Morningstar down low on the blocks. He was just, like you said, the, the word, you can't think of a better word right now than dominating down low. Yep. And you thought 
that could be a possibility, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. I mean, this is almost like a, a beers from last year at Northeast. I definitely think, too, a, a lot of it is, you know, he he's on tonight, too. Yeah. I, I think there is a little bit of that. But, you know, at some point, you you, you got to try to get him off his spots or, or just give him a different look or a different tempo to see if that throws him off rhythm. Hunter Moss wide open, three's no good. Rebounded there by Elias Schroeder. Willie Schroeder is in the game too, number 12, the freshman for Wailu or for Tawanda. Wailusen keeps their same five they had out last time in. One on one, it's over wild shot, no good. Try to get over Isaiah Way. It goes to Cobb. We're under two minutes to go, minute 45 to go in the game. Justin Schoonover still really hustling around. They are going to say that that went off of Wyatt Lucen, so we'll go back to the Knights. Lambert comes back. I haven't seen much of Lambert this half. Yeah, it's been – he started the second half. Right? Yes, yeah. yep, he did. And uh, a little surprised that he's been over there as much as he has. But, yeah, you know, we were also a little surprised that he didn't, you know, start the game too. But it could be for a variety of reasons. Schroeder tele telegraphed that pass, but it's tipped away um, out of bounds by Cobb. Stays with Tawanda. A minute 40 to go. 18 point lead now in favor of Y. Lucing. Uh, and, and another thing, too, Tawanda has shot the ball not, I mean, fairly well tonight. I mean, compared to their last couple games, another turnover in Tawanda, they haven't shot awfully. You know, they've shot pretty well. Yeah, they have, especially from three. This is definitely, I think, the most outpouring of uh, threes made that we've seen from Tawanda. Um, but again, defensively, you know, you're giving 70 plus points up, and um, you know, just, just haven't really had that answer. Yeah. You know, whether it was Isaiah Way early or Morningstar throughout. Yeah, like you said, I mean, 54 points, not you know, earth shattering, but that's not a bad mark with a minute to go in a game for yeah. Tawanda this year. But like you said, it's just unable to stop the uh, two-headed horse of Morningstar and Way. And you got to throw Cobb in there, too. Oh, Cobb's yeah, having yeah. a really good game. You know, he's got 11 points so far, but, you know, especially in the second half, he's stayed out of foul trouble and, you know, been able to really control the pace and, you know, especially with the, the minute offense kind of stuff, too, is, you know, he really takes control and is patient, has a lot of poise. So I'll ask you this as the last uh, few minutes. So we do have mass subs in the game, too, by the way. We have Clark. Um, we have Pierce. We have Wheaton. We have Schroeder. And it's going to be Grady Flynn. Those five are in the game now for Tawanda. Um, while Lucing still has out their starters of Moss as of now. But I'll ask you this question with a minute 30 to go. Is why Lucing an NTL contender? If Morningstar plays like this every game, 100%. Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to say just because, you know, we don't really know. We haven't seen Troy. I know they've played Troy already. Um, but, you know, Troy, Athens, Wellsboro. Wellsboro's yeah. going to be tough. Um, so I would say yes, but I got to see especially Wellsboro and Athens before I make a claim, you know, that White Lucing has a chance to beat those guys. But I know they're going to be playing hard. Um, I know Coach Kais is going to have him ready. You know, those, these boys are going to play really hard for him and, and compete. Mass up to the Rams as we have number one, Trahan Hugo. Number five, Parker Petlock. Let's see, we have number 25, Thomas Oliver. Number 24, that's Nick Vanderpool. And number 10, Nolan Oswald in the game for the Rams. Shot was good for Wheaton. And he will go to the line and shoot one. Nice take by the freshman. His free throws long, no good. Rebound, it's gonna be a fight for between Flynn and Hugo, and it's gonna stay with the Knights. A little fight there from Grady Flynn still. Yeah. I like it. I'll tell you what, he's a tough kid. He's, he's a tough kid. Worked out hard in the off season, put some muscle on. You know, he grew a little bit. Yeah. Um, always been a leader. Tough kid, too. Real tough. And especially playing, you know, in a game you're down 16 points, still giving that effort to get the jump ball there to give your team another possession. It's good to see. Yep. So Clark will inbound the 
ball here. It goes to Schroeder, who gives it over to Wheaton. Wheaton dribbles twice to the right hand, shot up, off, no good, rebounded by Owen Clark. He gives it, tries to get back to Flynn. There's gonna be a skirmish of the ball. It pops loose and it goes out of bounds on Tawana, goes to the Rams. 50 seconds exactly left in this one. Tawana's gonna press up down 16. Guess they're working on it with the yep. younger guys. Yep. Just this is just about experience right yep. now. And it gives Wyloosing some experience too to break a press, you know, these younger guys that do it all the time. So oh, that almost went in off of a tip, but it doesn't. Taken by number five. His pass is up there to Oliver, but it's taken away by Flynn. Flynn comes back the other direction here, 38 seconds to go. He goes right at the Rams defense. Draws the block. His basket is up and it is good. And he'll go to the line and shoot one. So a good take there again by Grady Flynn. Really tough shot there, too. Yeah. Got yeah. It to go. That foul was on Nolan Oswald. That was his fourth. Flynn's free throw up, and it is good. Makes it 72 to 57 now. Malusi still cannot break the press. Intercepted by Pierce. He comes right down the lane. Shots rejected. Taken by Owen Clark. He gives out to Schroeder. Wheaton lines up a three, and it is good. Jack Wheaton's going to be a special athlete. He is. He's shown. You know, a lot of uh, signs, you know, even the last game that we we were here, was it Montrose or? I think it was, no, it was Montrose. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, a couple of corner threes late in that game, and it was close, and he doesn't seem to be really afraid of the moment. Well, this thing suddenly turned into um, a 10-point game, and Coach Kai's getting a little nervous, has all five of his starters back to the scorer's table just in case. 72 to 62, 22 seconds to go. And yeah, he's gonna check in his starters to try and <laughs> at least get out of this press break and not get this any yeah. yep. any closer than it is. So uh, kudos to the twos or some of the uh, guys on the bench here for the Black Knights getting this thing within 10 and making Wadusi do this. Cobb even gets it taken away there. Here's underneath to Owen Clark. He goes up under shot, no good. Rebounded though by Isaiah Way, and he is gonna be held. With 11 seconds to go. Great effort here by the kids from the bench here for the Black Knights coming out in this one. And that foul is actually going to result in a one and one there for Isaiah Way. And he will go shoot those, or one anyway. Always a great sign when you know your twos, maybe threes come in and just play hard. Even if it, even if they didn't make this into a ten-point game yeah. with you know thirty seconds left or anything, it's just nice to, nice to see that. You know, I used to tell my players when we played, you know, go get your name in the paper. You know, and that's what these guys are doing right now. Brady Flynn's trying to do that with a nasty Euro step, but a shot is no good. Rebounded by Way, he kind of hangs on to it, fires it down the court, and that will end it. So. The Wyalusen Valley Rams come into rivalry night and they are gonna pick up a hard fought 72 to 62 win over the Tawanda Black Knights. Uh, we're just gonna take a quick 30 seconds. We'll be right with you here. and We're gonna give you a breakdown of the stats and we're gonna go off of that and get going. All right, so we saw a contest that was close at the beginning. Uh, we saw the Wyalusing Valley Rams kind of pull away there in the end of the second quarter into the third quarter, and they held on for a 72 to 62 NTO win to today over our Tawana Black Knights. Coach Johnson, do you want to break down the scoring in this one, and yep. then we'll kind of give a little uh, final breakdown, and we'll get out of here? Yep, for the uh, Black Knights tonight, we had uh, Dante Adiviani with 10 points, Elias Schroeder with 19, Grady Flynn with three, um, Shakona with two, Wheaton with five, Lambert with seven, Hartman with six, uh, Tegan Irish finished with three, and Justin Schoonover with seven. For the winning while losing Rams tonight, we had uh, Abram Bennett with five, Hunter Moss with big nine points in the second half, uh, Graydon Cobb with 11, Isaiah Way with 19, and leading all scorers, Blake Morningstar with 28 points tonight. Ooh, 28 points. Nice long meeting right now between Coach Kais and Coach Henry. I'm just kind of observing out there yeah. as you were breaking that down. Um, all right, so again, good effort by the Black Knights there. Tough team in the Wilders and Valley Rams, a very athletic team, a team that's probably going to contend at least for an NTL um, title and maybe possibly going into districts. Uh, 
going forward as far as the, the schedule goes, the next game that is going to be happening is going to be the Valley Christmas Tournament. I would recommend trying to get up to that if you're in the area. It is going to be December 28th. The girls will tip off at 6 o'clock against the uh, Sarah Redskins with the boys to follow at 7.30 as well. Our next broadcast will be sometime in January. I believe the 5th of January is the next girls' competition, so we will be live for that one as well. I would like to really quick wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, stay safe, um, enjoy your break. I'm gonna, we're going to enjoy our break. Yes, we will. That's, that's for sure. Yes, we will. Um, Coach, anything to say before we sign off? No, appreciate it. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. All right, from uh, this is Coach Jordan Clark and Coach Matt Johnson from Tawanda. We're signing off. Merry Christmas. Have a good one.